My name is John Swider. I'm the director, Jerome High Scream Team. I first got involved when uh, Wayne and Murray gave me a call saying they had a fun script for me to look at. Uh, the fact that we're shooting a 1950s horror, I haven't seen that yet, so that's that's really going to be good. A, mo a modern film representing the 50s is going to be a challenge. Got my start making films with my brother Joe, shooting underwater some photography, doing short films. Uh, I shot my first feature film featuring John Goodman three years ago, uh, Girls Gone Gangsta. Uh, that's when I really kind of sucked my teeth into a, 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 an action, but it was more of a comedy. This one is going to be an action, but it's going to be a horror. I can't say enough about the actors. I mean, from the, from the character uh, Doug, played by, by Zach, he, he's the leader. He's the one that's going to keep this group together. Um, Gino, the jokester, uh, uh, plays opposite Doug in, in a lot of ways, but then we have Martin, who plays opposite of Gino, the both of competing for Susan's affection. Kind of more, more, more of the uh, the bimbo, for a better word, but but still a strong character. Um, to round it out, we have Marianne, and Marianne is is that all-American girl that everyone wants to bring home to their mom, and to see her put in these really scary scenes and really actively screaming, it, it really really excites me and say, hey, this is what I got in that movie making for it to, to get these kind of reactions. What we want to really get across is, is these, these five characters kind of facing their own vices and their own fears as they go lower and lower into the depths of, of this building that's, that's symbolizing hell itself. I don't want to give it away. I want you to watch the movie. But, but the idea of them without hope is going to become stronger and stronger as the movie gets to its conclusion. So by the end, you, you as a viewer, I want you to feel, wow, I, 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 I feel trapped, I, I can't get out. And, and that's going to be a lot of what we're going to be seeing. We're really fortunate in the locations the producers found for me, they're inherently scary. Add that to a great cinematography, cinematographer, Roy White, he's a genius with lighting. So he could take a square white room and, and, and light it so that you feel like you're in a dungeon. And that's going to really be What's part wrong? of what we do, is, is, is the movie magic. And with almost no budget, it's going to be a lot on us to find ways to make it look like higher production, to make it feel scarier, and put you, the viewer, in it. One of the reasons that I believe they chose me, I will finish it. That is one thing that most of the films I've worked on before I became the director myself, a lot of them just didn't finish them. And it really irked me to spend all this time working on something and then never get to see the end product. This film will finish. I finished a dozen short films, a feature film, and this one will get done too. And it's going to be something everyone will be proud of. Um, I, want, I hope that one day when you guys watch it, you'll say, hey, this is something I want to watch over and over again. And put it on your shelf with your other great classics. Um, that being said, you know, help us out. Help us make this movie more awesome than it is.